Most of the applications that I develop have had the need to interact with external services. Knowing exactly what your application is requesting and receiving is the key when you're debugging any application. How exactly do you know if the app is doing a GET or a POST request? Which status code is receiving? While you can get this information in Xcode itself, printing objects to the console, it is not the best way to do it, especially if you need to prove an error on the backend side. This is why I use Charles Proxy. It is a software that enables developers to view all the network traffic between your computer or real devices to the internet. And today, I'm gonna show you how to use it. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to download Charles Proxy software to your computer. There's a free 30-day trial version for you to get started. Now that we have Charles installed in our computer, we need to install Charles Root Certificate. So to do this, we just need to go to Help, SSL Proxy, and install Charles Root Certificate. We select the certificate, and then Trust, and then Always Trust. Make sure you have the record button selected. Now let's check if everything is working correctly. So now we can see a list of requests being made by your machine. You can see the detail of a request by clicking it, but because it is protected by SSL, it is not human readable. So we need to do some configuration. Let's go to proxy and then SSL proxy settings and add an empty host. In this way, Charles will sign certificates for all of the requests. So let's clean this up and try again. And as you can see, now we are able to see the response from the server. In this case, it is an HTML response. Let's clean Charles again and try the same thing with an Xcode project and the simulator. I have a project here that requests Reddit's home feed as a JSON response. We will not get the response from the server, and the reason is because Charles is not configured properly to work with the simulator. To fix this, we just need to go to help, SSL proxy, and install chart root certificate in iOS simulators. Please keep in mind that you need to open charts first and then the simulator. So I'm gonna close the simulator and run the application again. And now we should be able to receive the JSON response from the server. There you go. And now finally, we are able to see the JSON response and the details from all of the requests we made from our computer and the simulator. In this case, it is Reddit's Humphit in JSON format. So now that you know how to set up Charles in Mac and the basics, things are going to be much easier and faster when trying to know what exactly your application is requesting and receiving. See you next time.